up on science. Oh, I'm scared now. And who better to restore my faith but the, the head of the Department of Quantum Science, Professor Craig Savage. And he has some marvellous uh, tricks to show us, Mar marvellous uh, topological tricks. And it, it's going to explain everything to us. What's light, what's matter, and how his trousers stay up. Round of applause for Craig. So I want to tell you about quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is, yep, I can adjust it a little bit. Quantum mechanics is the truth behind appearances. It's the reality behind the superficial experience that we have of the world. I'm going to try and give you a little bit of insight into this in a way that often isn't done in public. It's kind of secret quantum mechanics knowledge <laughs> in a certain way. So I'm going to perform a little experiment here, and I want you to tell me what happens. Okay. I, yes, I did, but what happened? How am I different now than I was before? You turned twice. I turned once. <laughs> Every, and because of that, Every particle of matter in my body changed the sign of its wave function. In quantum, <laughs> in quantum mechanics, we describe things by wave functions. Now, you probably don't know what wave functions are unless you've done a course in quantum mechanics, but they're the reality behind appearances. And when I do what I just did, I change the sign of the wave function of every electron and every quark in my body. Just like you, I'm made up of electrons and quarks. Quarks make up the neutrons and protons in the nucleus. In order to restore myself to how I was before, I have to do it again. Except I can't remember which way I turned. So anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll do this. So, okay. Now I'm back to normal. Okay? My wave function is exactly what it was before. Now you might think that I'm just telling lies or making this stuff up for fun. So I'm going to try and demonstrate why I'm not. And this is a consequence of a little known property of rotations that just doesn't seem to matter very much in everyday life, but matters more than almost anything else at the quantum mechanical level because it's the difference between what is matter and what is interactions. Matter is the stuff we're made of, electrons and quarks. But if they didn't interact, they'd all just be flying around the universe doing their own thing, not talking to each other, not knowing each other was there, because remember, they're not interacting. It's only through interactions that complexity and anything interesting arises. So there's a fundamental duality in the universe. There's matter and there's interactions. They're both things we call quantum fields, which are part of the space and time around us all the time. So they're both quantum fields, but there's two kinds and only two kinds. There's matter the stuff you're made of, and there's the interactions which gives a complexity to things. And the reason there's two things is because of a very unusual and little known property of rotations. And I'm going to demonstrate, and I'd like everyone who's, <laughs> I'd like everyone who's uh, able to, to take off their belt, if they can. Well, I didn't know this was going to happen. And, and, <laughs> and I need some, someone to help. And you'll need someone to help. So. Audience, please help me. Thank you. Okay, so this is. Thank you. Okay. I'm just told I can't be heard if I'm not on the mic. Sorry about that. I do have a very soft voice. I, I do hear that a lot. So thank you. Oh. I re you can see why I didn't hold the mic because I've got to do this. But okay, so what we're going to do. Okay, we're doing the same over here. Yep, everyone does the same thing. Stretch it out so it's flat, more or less, as flat as you can get it. And what I'm going to do is rotate it by 720 degrees so it's in a particular relationship to the rest of the universe. That's 360, that's 720. Is anyone else doing this? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, now what I'm going to do is show you that I can untwist it without doing any more rotations, just by shifting it around, what we call translation. So I'm holding this without rotating it, and there it's, un it's untwisted. Okay. Thank you. Yes. It's now. 
they're, 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 do that. Where do I grab it? In the middle. In okay, the middle. we'll try again. All right. So you've got to hold both ends still. Uh, yeah, th there's different ways of doing it. I'm not going to teach you. Uh, <laughs> but the point, the, point is, the point is it can be done, okay? And if I did a 360 degree rotation, so just rotated this once, then you couldn't, I couldn't untwist it by doing any kind of just movement through space without rotating it. It just, you can prove that for yourself to do it at home, right? Uh, so there's a difference even in everyday life, thank you, thank you, between... between 360 degree rotations and 720 degree rotations. It doesn't matter much in everyday life, but it matters enormously at the quantum mechanical level because it's the difference between matter, the stuff that everything around us is made up of, and the interactions between matter. It's that little property, the difference between a 360 rotation and a 70 degree, 720 degree rotation that determines the difference between matter and interactions. And that's in, in physics, at the quantum level, that's all there is. There's matter and there's interactions. Okay, I'm going to show you another way of doing this, which I hope also some people will participate with. <laughs> so I, I needed something asymmetrical, so I bought my friend, and he is my friend, Ganesha. And what I'm going to show you is I'm going to rotate Ganesha around. So I'm rotating him. And now I'm in a very painful and twisted position. <laughs> <laughs> rotated by 360 degrees. Is anyone else doing this? <laughs> <laughs> if I keep rotating him around that way, he comes back to where he was before, so that the relationship between Ganesha and me is now exactly how it was before. You can't get that relationship between him and me without a 720 degree rotation. So some of, sorry. Some of you uh, may have seen this dance done in Indonesia. It's a common Asian kind of dance with all candles or cups or plates. So have we got time to try, people to try? Two minutes, okay. Yes, we do. All right, so does anyone want to have a go? Just grab something, a cup, something that won't spill. Wine glass, probably not a good idea. Water glass. Water glass. Okay, rotate it round towards you. It's facing inwards. Keep going. It gets difficult. It's ah! Painful. It's got me! Up around your head. Oh, I'm almost dropping it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. Thank you. So, so this is indeed a, a very profound thing. Um, I'd like to show you a movie of it, just to perhaps solidify it if you haven't got it yet. So can we go with the movie, please? The movie shows a computer animation of an object that's rotating, connected to its environment by those bands, which you can see don't move at the end. It just keeps rotating and it doesn't tangle up. And a guy from Arizona, where I lived for a, a few years, actually patented this as a way of having rotating, com rotating machinery communicate with its environment. Uh, I don't believe he ever made any money out of it. There's better ways of doing it, but uh, it's, it's, it's quite phenomenal. It's not something that most people would expect, that you could keep rotating that without it tangling up. It's exactly the same thing as the belt trick I showed you and the dance moves that I showed you. Thank you very much. Science.